1877th is only 12 square miles. It has over 400 churches, but historically, it has the highest homicide rate in the entire city. You have those friends that you grew up with since elementary school. Those four friends are gone. Three of them are dead, and one is in life without parole in the penitentiary. This gang thing and stuff is taking away a lot of young, talented kids. I can't get over it. I miss my son every single day. If you put the 80s and 90s in context in Los Angeles, we averaged 1,100 homicides a year. The large portion of those were in South LA. All these kids being murdered, and everybody tell you it's supposed to be okay? That's bull. Back then, the police do anything to you they want to. Pull you over, talk shit to you, cuss you out. This is a community under siege with drugs and gangs and murder, and we have the worst police force trying to suppress it by any means necessary. We didn't see the long-term impact of that. So when Rodney King happened, we had no support. We had no relationships. Homicide requires character. It's not just going to arrest the bad guys. You don't even have a clue who I am. You don't know my child, but you're willing to take a chance to find out who killed him? Once this case breaks open, we have to protect you. We have a job to do. They can't solve unless the people help. That's right. Bottom line. I'm not focusing on how bloody or how horrible this person was murdered. It's who murdered this person. I want to start that chase now. I always view murder victims as lost souls. And there are a lot of lost souls that always are circling in my mind. Y'all make it personal, and I love y'all for that. This is the worst crime of all. This crosses every boundary. It doesn't care what religion, what race, what age, if you were short, you were tall, if you had money, you did, this crosses everything.